Hi guys, Olive here. Here today to review The Milky Way, an autobiography by Moya McTeer. This book was published in 2022 by Grand Central Publishing, which is an imprint of Hachette. The hardcover copy comes in at 256 pages. However, I read an e-copy that I accessed through my library. The author of this book is not only an astrophysicist, she's also a folklorist. She's actually the first person in the history of Harvard University to double major in astrophysics and mythology. And and in this book, she brings in both of those fields, telling the story of our Milky Way galaxy. Or rather, she creates and adopts this very sassy, only lightly condescending and justifiably narcissistic personality for the galaxy, and then she lets it tell its own story. This character that she creates, the Milky Way galaxy, starts off this book rather indignant, claiming that, quite rightly, we don't appreciate it as much as we used to. Human beings used to structure our lives around the movement of the skies. And these days, given all our pollution, light and otherwise, it's hard for us to even see it. And since we have fallen just so terribly out of touch, the Milky Way takes a moment at the start of this book to reintroduce itself, to talk a little about its history, its formation, its shape, how it has survived by ripping up and consuming other galaxies, and also about its work forming stars, work it takes extremely seriously. You'll start to see as you move along in the book that this is much less an autobiography, as the subtitle says, and much more the galaxy explaining itself in much more personal terms than you're used to when dealing with astrophysics. An autobiography is someone telling as much of their life story as possible. And as Moya McTeer as the Milky Way reminds us in this book, Book, the Milky Way's life is a whole lot longer than any of our lives, our mere human lives. And the Milky Way's life is far from over. And so I don't consider this to be an autobiography, but I do consider it to be a much more creative, a much more casual, and in my opinion, a much more understandable way for the author to explain the science of what's going on inside of our galaxy. The author does this by making the Milky Way seem remarkably human. For instance, she has the Milky Way talk about the pride that it takes in creating these beautiful stars. But then Moya McTeer also has the Milky Way experience heartbreak, having to watch these creations that it has so painstakingly made slowly die. She also describes the supermassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way as the Milky Way's secret shame. It's an embarrassment. It's not something the Milky Way likes to talk about. It's not something it likes to acknowledge, but it is trying to find a way to live with it. We also get to hear about how the Milky Way feels about its neighbors, particularly the Andromeda galaxy. The Milky Way really admires Andromeda, even has a crush on it. In fact, they've been sending love notes back and forth in the form of high velocity stars. They now have a pretty serious serious thing going on. They're slowly drifting toward each other with eventual plans to merge. Is it a cutesy way of looking at an enormously complex topic? Sure, I'll give you that. But for someone like me who has always struggled to understand this subject matter, it was a breath of fresh air. I dodged taking physics in high school. I got to take environmental science instead, and I thought I was going to have no trouble getting around it in college until in one of my honors classes, we were forced to do a unit on the Big Bang and I thought I was gonna die. We all have our strong subjects, we all have our weak ones. This one in particular has always been my Achilles heel. It doesn't mean that I have stopped trying to understand it, it is just really hard for me. So having some of these really complex concepts put into more human terms really helped me wrap my brain around it. I will say, I do think there are positives and negatives to the fact that this book is so of the current time period. Of course, when we're talking about the science, something could be discovered tomorrow that makes some of this feel outdated. Although a lot of the science in this book is about historical discoveries and those types of things, and that stuff's evergreen. So you don't have to worry about that being out of date, but also just the language used. It's very modern. Now, of course, for me, that made it feel very accessible because I read this book during its publication year, but especially with how fast language is changing these days because of the influence of the internet, I imagine this book will feel more dated more quickly. I also found that this book was a lot lighter on folklore than the synopsis seemed to promise and than I was personally expecting. 
I guess because Moya McTeer was a double major in astrophysics and mythology, I thought that would be a bigger part. I thought there would be a balance between those two subjects in this book. And no, the science is absolutely dominant. She does sprinkle in some human stories, which I appreciated. I think she brought them in at good times, at moments when she wanted to illustrate a point that she makes very early on in the book, that myth and science are not as disparate topics as you may think. They are both both means by which humans try to explain the world around them. And I thought that was great. I loved those parts. I just wish there were more of them. It is very heavy on the science, but like I said before, it's just using more personal terms. It's the galaxy explaining what's going on inside of it rather than it telling its entire life story like you would expect in something subtitled an autobiography. Now, credit where credit's due, Moya McTeer does take a stab at giving a beginning, middle, and end to this story. Of course, she starts off by talking about the Big Bang and then concludes by discussing the different theories surrounding how the universe could end. And the Milky Way tells us its preference for which one of those theories it would like. But of course, it doesn't know how the universe is going to end because it hasn't happened yet. And even if it did know, it probably wouldn't tell us. The Milky Way throughout this book is perfectly happy to tell us all about the different things that our human scientists have discovered over the centuries, but it remains mum on those things that we haven't fully figured out yet. Moya McTeer gives it a very coy attitude. It's very, that's for me to know and you to find out when it comes to those mysteries that are still out there. I thought that was a really clever way to get around those things we don't quite have answers to yet, while still completely staying in this character that she created. This is just a really fun read, and I think a lot of people out there could enjoy this one. However, I do think that a specific kind of reader might not find it as enjoyable and I'm thinking about people who already read a lot about the universe, about space, who are big fans of science fiction, who don't struggle to understand this subject matter. I could see someone like that rolling their eyes at this approach. But if you're anything like me, someone who is not 100% confident in their ability to understand this kind of science, then I think you might similarly benefit from having an author who not just gets the science, but also deeply gets the value of human stories, translate this really intense science into something more relatable and therefore something more understandable. Sure, there were still plenty of moments throughout this book where the science went straight over my head, but this is the closest I have ever come to feeling comfortable with this subject matter. Reading this book kind of felt like having a teacher in a subject that you've historically really hated, but now it seems a little bit more approachable because the teacher is much more interested in you learning than they are about following the textbook to the letter. This was fun, this was informative, and it shaved off just a little bit of the intimidation factor for me. But those were my thoughts on The Milky Way by Moya McTeer. If you would like to read this book or if you have already read this book and you wanna share your thoughts, I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. If you're on a mobile device, tap the title of this video to expand the description box below where you'll see links to where you can pick up a copy of this book if you're interested. But there's also something down there called the further reading section where I have listed out some book titles that you may wanna consider if this topic intrigues you. And at the bottom of that exact same description box, you'll see links to everywhere you can find me around the internet, like Goodreads and Instagram, the two places where I'm the most active. In case you would like to keep up with what I am reading and writing about right now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.